I'm at Piedmont Triad International Airport. It is in the uh, North Carolina area, fairly close to Greensboro, uh, Winston-Salem kind of area, airport code GSO. I just finished my uh, presentation with Vistage, a Vistage local group here, and I wanted to share with you a customer service story that started off as a very weird experience that ended up being above and beyond and a great little shareable moment. So I got in last night about, uh, I arrived about 7, I got to the hotel about 7.30ish. After parking the car and getting out, front desk, there I was met by Joseph, very friendly young man. He gives me my room number, my room number is 419, go to the elevator, go walk up to the elevator. As I'm approaching the room, I saw, I could tell, there was light coming out from the side of the door, crack. You shouldn't see light coming out from the side of the door. The door was ajar, now it wasn't open, it wasn't closed. I immediately turned around, went back to the front desk, and Joseph and the general manager were absolutely apologetic and, and completely surprised, and they immediately called security. So I got my new room number, and as I was going up to my new room, I happened to be fairly close to that, but not exactly there, I see the two security guys, and they're talking to each other, why are they there? So I intermediated and explained to them what had happened. So they knock, no one answers, they open the door, and I saw there was the engineer's cart. So there was the answer. Now, funny thing was, when I first saw that door, I was afraid. I actually got afraid that somebody was stealing my luggage, somebody was stealing my computer, I needed it for tomorrow, and then, because I was a little tired, and then finally on the way back, I realized, duh, <laughs> all that stuff was either on my back, wearing my coat, or my bag in my bags. So it was kind of that, that first moment, like, oh, crud. In reality, it wasn't a big deal, so got down to my new room, which was about five or six doors down. It was an upgraded room. Joseph told me he sent me some extra miles. I really didn't care. I just wanted a warm, comfy bed, wanted to be able to do my work and wake up in the morning. So in the morning, underneath my door, this was what was here, a handwritten note from Joseph, an above and beyond customer service experience. Mr. Koretsky, thank you so much for choosing Marriott. I'm sorry for your room situation and hope you were able to get in touch with Mr. Walsh. I put those points on your account. They should show up in a few days. Good luck with your speech, Joseph, front desk. So a couple of things. One, he remembered who I was about to meet. Two, he remembered I was having a presentation the next day. He asked me what brought me to town. Three, he reminded me that the, that the miles, uh, the points that he was going to meet, the frequent stay points are going to show up. And he hand wrote a note. You don't need to write a handwritten note. He was apologetic. I know he was genuine. It was an honest mistake. No one even knew the engineer was there. Above and beyond customer service. So my question to you or my point, my suggestion is, what can you do just a little bit to go that little extra mile for your clients, especially your good one? That's today's Chief AHA Moment. I'm Ira Koretsky, the Chief Storyteller.